Wild Junction is very important for the city of Durban. So in apartheid days, it was the back door where the public transport existed, and that's where black workers were expected to go. The inner city was primarily for white people. It was actually a real, real blind spot to servicing any of those communities, particularly if they weren't white. The city came here, they proposed to bring a mall into our area. So all of us were very disappointed uh, with their uh, decision. At least 80,000 livelihoods would have been affected. We had to mobilize and get help in order to save this market. We did more than what we bargained for, which was to uh, co-design and also to empower you know, informal workers with skills. So, okay. How you engage with users and collaborate and co-design. These are important issues in, in any African city. Hello, ma'am. How are you? Inclusive design is the solution. If you include the end users during the design stages, they will uh, look after the infrastructure because uh, they had input. So we were also involved. They are knowledgeable and uh, they know their stuff. One of the things I love most is the innovation of AET. AET helps the city to integrate and to be inclusive. And behind that wall, we've got the other lady called Mambuto. Mambuto, she's from a line. Over the years, we've had at least 15,000 tourists coming through the area. I was afraid to talk to people about this area. I didn't think that it's important to talk about the street trading. But after I started this tour, many people, they really appreciate what we are doing. We think it's also starting to send the signal, particularly to informal workers in that area, that this is not a ghetto part of the city. This is actually a normal and functioning part of the city. And I think it's catalytic. Seven years down the line, and the market stands here today is because of leaders like us. Ute